Storm Tracker weather starts now with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. You know, here in the Billings area, we didn't get much snow. In fact, we just got rain in the last couple of days. But let me show you where they had some heavier snow. Take a look at this picture. This comes with us from Joel Clem. We're looking at Red Lodge, and this is his back patio. Look at the patio furniture. Man, they had a lot of snow up there. I, You know, that's at least a foot, maybe even quite a bit more. Let me show you some other places. Here's the crazy mountains. Look how beautiful the snow-capped mountains are right now. Picture from Loretta Groff early. This is after the storm has gone through, and we had some clearing skies. Yeah, that, we had that today. But take a look at this. We did have a lot of snow. How much snow do they get up at Red Lodge? Well, they had 15 inches of snow up at the Red Lodge Mountain, 10.5 in downtown Red Lodge. Luther reported 10 inches of snow. And over at Burgess Junction in Wyoming, they had 8 inches of snow out of that system. Meanwhile, here in Billings, we just had rain wound up with about half an inch. As you can see, here's where we are tonight, though, 43 degrees with generally clearing skies. Winds are out of the south at about 5 miles per hour. Now, our high temp today actually topped out at 50 degrees. 77 is your average high for this time of year. The record was 99 back in 1979. The record low was 4. Uh, 32 back in 1952 and when it comes to sunset well that was at uh, 738 tonight precipitation nothing new fell in our rain gauge today but that's what we wound up with yesterday 54 hundredths of an inch so actually we're headed normal for the month of september but for the year we're still a little bit behind but just barely at 1028 need to be 1036 to be caught up to average our current temps now around the state we're cooling off over in butte and dylan look at that into the 30s already livingston already below freezing they're at 38 degrees the cold mountain air likes to settle down in a valley and that's why they're a little bit cooler everyone else generally 40s and 50s across the northwest. Highline into the 40s and 50s as well. Northern Wyoming, they are also into the 30s at this hour. Here in Billings, we're at 43. But these are our reported highs for the day. We had a lot of 50s and some 60s up in the northwest corner of the state. Cutback, Kalispell, Missoula, all 63. 50s elsewhere across the High Line today, so really not that bad of a day for us. It's just a little bit cooler than what we're used to seeing. Now, did you see that little flash right there? I think this is probably smoke from the that uh, Bobcat fire up in the Bull Mountains. It just kind of pops in and pops out occasionally. We basically had a nice northerly flow today, which kind of blew most of the smoke away from us today. And as we pull back, you can see it also blew most of the snow and cold and rain a little bit farther south. It's rotating around that low pressure cell in Utah. And then when it comes back out, it's coming up over the mountains towards Colorado and into Denver. And now that whole thing now starts making its way in towards the rest of the Midwest. For us, though, got a big ridge of high pressure building into the upper levels. That's going to leave mostly sunny skies. High pressure at the surface and in the upper levels will continue to clear out the skies for us and eventually start warming things up for us. So here's the way we are going through uh Wednesday night on into Thursday morning. Look at a mostly sunny skies all the way through and by 6 p.m. Thursday afternoon. Still looking at mostly sunny skies in here. It's going to be pretty nice. Just a few clouds across northern Wyoming on uh, tomorrow night. And then meanwhile here tonight we're looking at temperatures cooling back down into the 20s and 30s. Kind of a cold night freeze warning over there in north central Wyoming. Back in the rest of the region generally into the 20s and 30s for overnight lows here in Billings. 30 degrees, 32 over at Forsyth, 40, 31 over at uh, uh, Hardin tonight, 32 at Miles City. Then for tomorrow we're back up into the 60s. So some low 70s and mostly sunny skies moving into the region. But for Billings tonight, here's what you're going to see. Temps cooling back down to about 30 degrees with those clearing skies. So a very chilly night tonight. You may want to uh, protect your tender vegetation in the backyard because of those cold temps. Then after that, we start pulling out of it. 65 on Wednesday, 69 on Thursday, sunny skies. 79 on Friday, you like that? And how about 79 on Saturday? 86 on Sunday, all of that with mostly sunny skies. 90 degrees on Monday with mostly sunny skies. 82 degrees on Tuesday with mostly sunny skies guys then too. Let's go back to Casey.